In this video, I am going to tell you that how you can create custom blog post page template using Elementor's Flexbox containers. Furthermore, I will also show you that how you can make that template responsive across devices. Make sure to keep watching this entire video till the end to never miss a thing. Before we get started in this video, have a look at my channel. There I have number of videos related to Elementor tutorials. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. So without further ado, let's get started now. So the first thing that you have to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard. Right here you can see that in the themes option, I am using the Hello Elementor theme and in the plugins, you can see I only have Elementor and Elementor Pro. So before you can create the template, the first thing that you have to do is to hover over this Elementor, then go to this settings, then go to this features and make sure you activate the Flexbox containers. Once you will activate these containers, then you will be able to start creating the blog post page template. So in order to create the template, hover over to this template and then click on theme builder. Once you will click on this theme builder, you will have the similar kind of interface. From here, you will have to choose single post. I already have one single post created. So what I want to do is to actually edit this post as well and then we can create a new post. So I will click on this add new button as well. So you will only have to wait until the Elementor page builder will get loaded. Right here you can see it is already loaded and now we can actually start creating our template. So there I already have created the template. So I'll try to replicate the same template for this tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is to create this kind of header image. For that you need a container. You can use this container with the direction of column. Make sure to give it a minimum height of 350 pixels. Then go to this style tab and from here make sure you choose the background image. I'll choose this background image and then I'll click select. From here I'll choose position. After that I want to add a color overlay. So I'll click on this classic and then from here I'll choose this color and then I can increase or decrease the opacity. I'll increase the opacity. After that let's create this main section that has all the details for the blog post. So in order to create this section, what you have to do is to click on this container. So from here, click on this plus and then choose any of these sections. I'll choose this column section. Once you will insert this container here, make sure you increase the width to 1200 pixels. Once that is done, insert one more container inside of this container and then make sure it is full width just like that after that click on this plus icon and then from here you want to choose this template so insert this template and then get rid of these two templates from here so i'll get rid of these templates now we have those templates removed the next thing that you want to do is to copy this container from here then click on this container and then paste that container inside of this container. After that, copy this container as well and then make sure you select this container and then paste that container so that we have both of these containers just like this. Now we need to make sure these containers should remain next to each other. So for that, click on this container and change the direction to horizontal so that they should become in line. Now I want to remove this container from here. We already have the structure that we wanted. So now we can actually start inserting the elements here. So the first thing that I want to insert is this post title. So I'll drag and drop this post title here. Right here you can see it is already fetching the post data. So I'll change the typography and make it bold. And then after that I want to include the featured image. So I'll drag and drop the featured image right here. Once that is done, I want to include the post content. So I'll drag and drop the post content right here. So right here you can see we have the post content. And after that, what I want is to include the post comments. So that we have this post comments form here. 
and the last thing that i want to include is this post navigation i'll drop this post navigation right here so we have all the elements that we wanted in this container now we need to work on this right side container so if we have a look at this container we have this search bar and then this table of content so let's just begin by adding the search bar so from here i'll search for search form and then i'll drop that search form in this container so right here you can see we have this form here I'll select this container and this search form and then I'll go to this style tab and then from the button I'll remove this background. Now I'll change the color to the dark color and I'll increase the icon size. After that I'll go to this input and I'll change the background color to transparent. Then I want to include the border with the one pixel of width. And I want to change the border color to this color. After that, we need to incl include the border radius. So I'll include the border radius of 40 pixels. And then right here you can see this is how it is looking. We just need to make sure to change the text color. So to change the text color, I'll just change it just like this. So now we have this search bar created. The next thing we have to create is this table of content here. So in order to create the table of content, simply search for table of content. Drag the table of content right under the search form. Then from here, go to the style tab. And then in the border radius, add a border radius of 10 pixels. That's it. Now we need to include this follow us and the social media links. So in order to include this, we need to drag a container here right under this. And then inside of this container, we need to add the title. Change this title to follow us. And I want to adjust the typography. Then just include the social media icons. So I'll drag the social media icons right under this. And then align them towards the left side. And then in the style tab, I want to include the custom color. So the primary color will be the blue color and the secondary color will be the white color. And for the border radius, I want to have 40 pixels of border radius on all sides. Then we can adjust the sizes. So just adjust their sizes just like this. Now we need to include the border. So in order to include the border, select this container, then go to the style tab and then go to the border. And then from the border type, select solid and then choose the width one pixel and select the color of what we are using. Then add the border radius of 10 pixels and then go to the advanced tab and add the padding of 15 pixels. And then from the top, make sure you have 30 pixels and from, from the bottom also we need 30 pixels. Now. Let's review this. So this is how it is looking now. So the next thing we need to create is this subscribe today form. I need to grab the color code. So I'll go to this style tab and I will simply copy this color code. I'll duplicate this container that we have created. And then I want to get rid of these social media icons. And this time I want to search for form. I'll drag this form inside of this container. And then instead of follow us, I want to change this to subscribe now. Then click on this form, click on this label and hide them. We do not need this label and we do not also need this message field here. After that, go to this style tab and in the style tab, go to this field and in the field, add the border radius of 40 and then go to this button and add the border radius of 40 pixels. After that, click on this container, then go to the style tab, then click on this background, click on color and add this background color so that we have this kind of background here. Then go to this border and get rid of the border that we had before. Make it none. Now change the subscribe now color to the white color. And right here you can see this is how it is looking. So we have created this so far 
and now we need to push this to the top of this section before i push this to the top of this section i actually want to increase the height of this section and i'll make this 400 pixels and after that i'll open my navigator and from the navigator i'll click on this container then this container so make sure you choose this container right here and then from this container go to this style tab and change the background color to the white color then go to this advanced tab then make sure you click on this and add the negative 200 pixels then go to the style tab again go to border and add the border of 10 pixels and then let's review it so this is now how it is looking we need to add the box shadow so add the box shadow reduce the opacity of the box shadow and then review so this is how it is looking now now the only thing left is that we need to insert the padding inside of this container so for the padding add the padding of 25 pixels and then from the top make it 40 pixels and from the bottom make it 40 pixels as well click on this image we need to include the border radius on this image as well so add the border radius of 10 pixels to this image as well so now I review this this is how it is looking now i want to include some spacing between these two containers so i will click on this container right here then i'll go to this layout tab and in the layout tab i'll include the gap of 30 pixels just like this so now we have this nice gap right here if you want you can make any of these elements sticky as well so for example if you want to make this sticky click on this container go to this advanced tab and then go to this motion effect and click on sticky on top and then click on stay in column so that it should stay inside the column and make it only on the desktop devices so now if i show you you can see this is sticky but we need to adjust a few things on this section so on this add the offset of 50 pixels or probably like 80 pixels so the 80 pixels looks fine you can increase this value to give it a proper spacing from the header so this looks fine now and right here you can see it is sticky so in this way you can make any of these elements sticky as well now the desktop version is created and we can begin making it responsive so in order to make it responsive click on this responsive mode and then go to this portrait as soon as you will switch to portrait you will notice that a lot of things are not fine there is a very simple solution to make it responsive so click on this container that we have the inner container and just click on this wrap as soon as you will click on wrap the right side container will automatically push down then click on this container that is actually the left container and then click on this percentage and make it 100 percent then click on this right container which is our sidebar then click on this percentage and make it 100 percent so that it should look something like this so in this way you can make this section responsive now in order to make it responsive on mobile you can see most of these things are already responsive you just need to adjust the spacing of these elements so for this container i'll click on this container or actually i want to click on this parent container and then i'll go to this advanced app i want to reduce the padding on the right and left side so from the top let's keep it 40 and from the bottom let's keep it 40 but from the right side let's make it 15 and from the left side let's make it 15 as well so that we have some spacing on the both sides do the same thing for the other container which is our sidebar container then simply click go go to this padding and click here and it will automatically adjust itself and right here you can see this is responsive as well if i close this this is how it looks on the mobile devices and if i switch to tablet devices you can see this is how it is looking on the tablet devices and if i switch to desktop devices 
you can see this is how it is looking on the desktop devices so in this way you can create the single post template using the elementor and flexbox containers i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video